Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review on my favorite, favorite, favorite Louis Vuitton Clements wallet. I have had so many Louis Vuitton wallets. I've had so many non-Louis Vuitton wallets. I've just had a lot of wallets in general and this by far has been my absolute favorite and so I've been wanting to do this review for you guys for quite some time and I've also had quite a lot of requests. So I'm really really excited to be showing showing you more about this. I'll show you all of the details of it, the inside, the out, outside, the price. Um, I'll show you how I pack it and, and how much it can hold and everything. But if you happen to be new here, I would love for you to consider subscribing down below. I would love to have you back. And then if you end up liking this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Okay, so let's get right into this video. All right, so the Clements wallet. I guess we'll just start with the dimensions. It is 7.7 .7 inches across, and then it is three and a half inches from top to bottom, and then it is very, very slim, less than an inch width. But it does um, expand a little bit, which I will show you in a minute. Um, the price for this is $530, which obviously it is a pretty pricey wallet. However, when you compare it to other Louis Vuitton wallets, it's actually a really good price point. A lot of wallets that they have, like the Zippy wallet, the Sarah wallet, there's just so many wallets that I've had, and usually they are anywhere between seven to $800. And I honestly think this is better, just the structure of it and how it's laid out. I really, really think it's organized better. But as far as canvas, when I first got this, I don't think there were as many options available, but now there's so many options available, so that's really cool. I do like what I, you know, I was able to get. However, um, it is really cool that I think that this wallet has become a lot more popular, and so they are kind of expanding what is available. But, you know, I have it obviously in the monogram canvas, and then I'll show you quickly the inside it is the fuchsia interior, which I don't really know why they call it fuchsia, because when I think of fuchsia, I think of like a really kind of like a hot pink but this is actually more of like a maroon so it's not red but it is like a maroony red and I just love that color it kind of reminds me of Chanel a little bit but I just think it's a really classy color so that's why I did want it in that shade but now you can get it in all all the regular canvases obviously um, it comes in a lot of different colors like yellow even poppy orange color there's a really hot pink color I think there's even a blue color there's just a lot to choose from just go on the website I'll have it linked down below but there's tons of options they also have the emprunt leather the vernice leather which is kind of like the patent leather I could go on and on but just so you know there are tons of options and and then the hardware is gold hardware like usual and like I've said in so many of my videos, I love a good zipper and of course this zipper is buttery smooth, it doesn't catch on anything, it's just an excellent, excellent zipper and every single time I'm at the grocery store, I'm at Walmart, I'm anywhere and I get this wallet out, I thoroughly enjoy using the zipper. One thing that is a little bit different, it does not have like the gold metal pull tab, which I think a lot of people, I don't know about a lot of people, but I think some people are bothered by that. Like they want, obviously like a metal pull tab is going to feel a little bit more luxurious. However, I'm just a little bit anal and I can't stand how scratched those get. So I honestly do not mind that this is a leather pull tab. I think it, I grab onto it easier and I don't know, it doesn't get dirty or anything. I think it's held up very well and I really appreciate that I'm not looking at a really scratched you know, metal pull tab every single time I get my wallet out. Let me show you the inside of the wallet now. Like I did say, it is colored, and basically how it's laid out is there are eight total credit card slots. So for me, I think that is a good amount. So there's some wallets that have less, and then there's some wallets they have, you know, there's a lot more. And it's just kind of, you have to think about what cards you want to carry on a normal basis. Um, so there's four on this side, and then there's four on this side as well. And then obviously there is the coin purse here, and I do have some of my coins still in here. I did take them out for the video but I definitely carry coins all the time I don't really use tons of cash but for some reason I do get a decent amount of coins and then once I once it gets too many in here then I do move it to a different jar or whatever but I love how this has the pop of color with the leather but then there's also the contrast with the coin pouch and the coin pop pouch is the canvas so when I open it up I think it just looks really nice with the just the contrast of the two leather, like the leather and the canvas. There's also two different spots that you can put things actually behind the credit card slots. 
it's just right here and then there's a, a slot right back here as well. I think even one time I was carrying uh, a key and it really wasn't, it wasn't my key and I didn't want to lose it so I actually put it right here and it was just like a good spot to remember but it was kind of like hidden. Um, so I do think that that is really cool that there is something back behind the credit card slots. Okay, so the reason that I love this wallet so much, there's a lot of different reasons. The main thing I think for me is just the way this is organized. I have had, I've had the Sarah wallet and I've had the Zippy wallet. I've had the Zippy organizer wallet. I've had trifold wallets. I've had the bifold wallet. I've had just a lot. And the bifold ones and the trifold ones, they're nice and compact. However, I just really can't stand having to fold money. Like I, I just want them to be straight. It's just, I don't know, I don't know what it is, but I just want the money to be straight. So that got me to thinking that obviously I need a full size wallet. So then I jumped into the Louis Vuitton Zippy wallet that everyone raves about and it is nice. However, there's just, it is like the accordion style. However, there's just so many sections in that wallet. Like there's like two sections here, the coin thing, another two sections, and then credit card slots. Like it was just so many sections. And I think some people really like that because they think, oh, it'll be really good to like organize things. But when you're like on the go, you're at Walmart, you're like putting things in your wallet, you, and or you wanna get something out of your wallet, like, I like half the time I was like, w w where is everything? Like I was flipping my wallet around. I was like shuffling through, like it was just too much. And so I love this because you open it and you can immediately see what you're looking for. Yet it is organized enough that you can separate a couple things, but not too much to where you can't find things. So that's why I got rid of the Zippy wallet and I thought, oh, I'm gonna try the Zippy organizer wallet. And that is the one that opens up kind of like a book. So it's not an accordion but it actually opens up and it lays flat. So it's, it's just like a book. And I thought, oh, I'm gonna love this because that way I can, you know, there's not gonna be so many sections and I'll be able to, I'll just think I'll like it better. So I tried that for a while and I didn't like that either because every time I would open my wallet, it would literally like things would, it would open up and it would just fall out immediately. Like there were like money like falling out on the floor because there's not an accordion to kind of like keep it upright. And I know I sound like so picky and anal right now, like I really do. However, I just wanted to give you guys like an honest opinion of like why this wallet really does work for me. So anyway, I realized Okay, I definitely like the accordion style. It kind of keeps everything inside. Things don't fall out. But yeah, this one is, um, it's like slim and compact. So it's not, you know, taking up so much space like the other wallets, but yet it's still organized, but not overwhelmingly organized, if that makes sense. I also really like how my iPhone can fit in here. Um, it won't fit the iPhone Plus, but mine is an iPhone 7 and it easily fits in there and it's super easy to zip up as well. So I, sometimes I do this if I, it just depends. I, I get in ruts where I never do this and then then I kind of like remember oh I can put my phone in here and then I'll start doing it like all month long so um, yeah it's awesome that it does fit the iPhone 7 and but yet it's still like a really slim wallet so that does get me on to my next point I really like how like thin it is because it does fit into a lot of my bags I do if I you know I've been saying like I said I think in my last video that I love my Louis Vuitton favorite crossbody bag I've just been grabbing that bag like crazy and that obviously is a smaller compact bag but this fits in it super easily like it slides right into that crossbody bag and it is just because because you know it's just a thin wallet so I can obviously put it in my speedy my neverfull obviously but then I also can fit it into my favorite and also it does fit in speedy B 25s or just a speedy 25 I went to the Louis Vuitton store and I was considering the speedy 25 which I still kind of do want I'm not really sure but it definitely um, I put this wallet in there just to test it out and it definitely fits in the speedy 25 as well so I think that is definitely a good thing the only downside I can think of and I really haven't had a problem with this however I've seen other reviews where people had an issue with the inside zipper tab like you see how this kind of like sticks out right here if you happen to like be closing it at a weird angle or something and this like goes to the side and then you try and close it it can like get caught like that but that doesn't really happen to me and I don't know I don't know mine doesn't like lay like that like it tends to just like when I close it it tends to go to the side and and close just per like perfectly fine 
um, but I have seen some people say that that bothers them if they're closing it at a weird angle and then the zipper kind of gets caught and they kind of have to like jiggle a little bit and then it'll close fine. So I just wanted you to be aware that I guess some people have an issue with that. I'm not really sure. There's really nothing else that bothers me about this wallet. Um, it's held up beautifully. I always, always switch it out of things. Like I'm always changing my bags. Um, I always take this back and forth to work and I like I shove so much stuff into my work bag. Half the time there's like milk jugs like sitting on top of this and then I'll like rip it out and it like brushes up against my hairbrush. Like there's just, this has been through a lot and I honestly cannot see any wear to it at all. I think it is beautiful. There's no marks on the glazing. Like it's just in pristine, like literally pristine condition. So I think the quality is definitely, definitely there. And yeah, so I'm gonna put everything in my wallet you know, back into my wallet just to show you guys just kind of how I pack it and what it looks like when it's all filled up. Okay, so my wallet is completely packed now. I will show you what it looks like inside and how I have it kind of organized. So it's just really easy to always see and know where everything is. This side is always my, my driver's license and my main credit cards. And then this side is always gift cards. And then here on the side, just laying in the center, I have like my punch cards or my rewards cards. And then over here is just where I have my cash sitting so it's just really really easy and then like I said there are these hidden compartments back behind the credit card slots on one side I don't have anything actually I mean I sometimes I'll throw like a receipt in there like if I'm returning something um, and then the other side I actually have a credit card in there it's actually my work credit card I'm never allowed to use it unless I am on like on travel for work and then I obviously can use it for the travel but if I were to just like accidentally pull that out and pay my groceries with that like I could get in big trouble so I don't actually like the credit card to be visible because I don't want to actually acc accidentally pull it out and make a mistake or whatever okay so I think that does it for this video if you guys have any questions at all about this wallet feel free to ask me in the comment section down below I will be more than happy to try and answer all of your questions about it um, I know a lot of people love Louis Vuitton wallets and they're always kind of questioning which ones to get and every time I get a new one I I am always watching YouTube videos because I think that is it's, it's so helpful more helpful than maybe even going into the store some of the times because you get to really talk to somebody you know through YouTube videos of you know how it really holds up and what you really can hold in it and, and do with it so anyways thank you so much for watching and like I mentioned if you happen to like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe down below thank you again and I will see you very soon in my next video bye